back guys, I'm gone in 60. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. The new job, I'm working some, some really long hours. Uh, cutting into my video time, but I promise there's more videos on the way. Got some great content, got some really, really good interviews coming. Uh, just bear with me, please forgive me. Today we went to back to 210 Performance uh, to have my vertical links installed. So uh, uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. We're chasing 1,000 subscribers. We're at about 6.30, something like that right now. So uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, binge watch it. Uh, don't forget to tell your friends. And I'm gone in 60. All right, guys, we're headed to 210 Performance. We're going to get these uh, rear vertical links installed, uh, the uh, billet aluminum Steta vertical links. And I uh, haven't done a cold start in a while, so just wanted to start it off right today. Let's do this. <laughs> And once again, we are at 2 0 Performance. Here to see Chris. Uh, we're going to do the Steta vertical, uh, the, the rear uh, vertical links by Steta. We're going to install those today. Let's see what they got going on in here today. All right, so we have this Terminator Cobra. You know, this is a lot of people's favorites. And it's got a Kenny Bell on it. Pretty big Kenny Bell, might I add. Got another uh, supercharged new edge right here. In for some work. Currently, he's dyno tuning this uh, Raptor. Some nice vehicles in here. And look what we have here. Not sure if it's. Uh, getting rebuilt or uh, just got ripped out or is about to get put in something. I'll have to check with Chris and see. It's an S197 that just uh, backed up off the trailer. Looks like it means business. What do you think? And this is the factory vertical link, what it looks like. It's uh, some type of stamped steel. It's got a rubber bushing and uh, that, that rubber uh, deteriorates and degrades. And uh, also because it's stamped steel, it's uh, it's heavier than the uh, than the billet aluminum replacement by Steta. All right, now you can see the difference between the stamped steel uh, factory unit and the Steta unit. Uh, big difference, big difference as far as uh, uh, this is going to help with the uh, wheel hop and deflection. All right, so this is the install product underneath the car. This is the. Uh, Rear vertical link, Steta billet aluminum installed. Looks pretty nice. So he's going to do another dyno run on this. He's dyno testing this uh, this uh, Gen 1 Raptor, 6.2 liter. And I forgot to mention to you, it's got a Roush supercharger on it. is all done with the vertical links installed in the rear uh, there's no uh, like a physical appearance as you can tell you have to look underneath the vehicle but 
it's all done. I want to thank Chris at 210 Performance again for helping me out. Let's see if we get a good burnout on this one. Thanks for watching I'm Gone in 60. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, we have some pretty good dyno videos and some install videos, so don't be afraid to binge watch. See you soon.